the play I I would make because I've already know the answer. So you can't trust me. Trust Moji. Well, that's <laughs> always a criteria. So who is up in the race? Yes, black is up in the race. I, I didn't even count, but I'm pretty sure white has three back checkers and black has three, only nothing. So black is up in the race. Who has a better ball? White. White. So already, uh, you know, well, even though white doesn't have an anchor, already two out of three criteria says you must play ball. <coughs> the answer is playing ball. Uh, the best way is two down. By the way, I agreed this was time to play bold and came up with four wrong bold plays here. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you know, if, if you're going to play bold, I thought maybe you go out to his bar as the boldest play you can make. Why is this the right bold play? Uh, what's the second choice? How much second choice is 7363. Three. And the difference is 0 0.046. And it's rolled up. You can make another point. If you might leave a block, then you have a three point board, and, and with three checkers, he's trying to hit that extra checker. Uh huh. So, why is it better to bring the two down than to make the point? Let's assume you get a shot and hit it. Would you rather have a blot on your seven point and the three point made, or builders on the nine and ten if you get the shot and hit it? What if you don't get the shot and hit it? For, then with those builders on the nine and ten, aren't you a lot more likely to make your eight point or four point and keep your keep your points in a row? Isn't that your real goal? So one of two things is going to happen after you make this play. He's going to leave you a shot or he's not, and you're going to hit it or not. And in either case, where do you want your checkers? So this is something that I learned from my mentor, from Perry, about looking one play ahead is all we have to do. What's most likely to happen? And then I also learned from an interview with Matt cohn Geyer focus on the key issue. The key issue here is, am I going to get a shot, and am I going to hit it? And if I do, what are my checkers going to look like? If you only think about that, because that's what's going to matter for whether you win or lose this game, and you focus on what that's going to be on the next roll and where you want your checkers, that's how you come up with the right play. It only took me an hour and a half to do that. And it's a good thing we use clocks, because otherwise I would use an hour and a half to play. But the, the fact that it took me an hour and a half in practice to do that, now I can do it over the board in only a half an hour. So I'm getting better. Yes, Van? Just to note, the, uh, making the 20 point or the opening 5 point is not even in the first four games. Why isn't it? Why do you think it's wrong to make the 20 point? I understand because you explain it now. I'm but what's, what's wrong with the 20 point? Let's talk about the negative. Betty? It's too far advanced. It's, behind it's much easier for him to go behind you. You're not trying to. Go get out. You're not trying to prevent play safe. That's a safe play. To, if you were on gammon save here, maybe that might be right. I, 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 there's a concept possibly. What, what do you think, Mochi? If this was gammon save, would you make the 20 yeah, point? Yeah. yeah. If you were at a score where it's very important not to get gammon, then you play. That's another reason to play safe. For the simplification of this lecture, and from a grill standpoint, we're not dealing with special scores. But at normal match score or money plays, that's you don't care about playing safe. You really want to get the shot and hit it. Okay. Um, yeah. Any more questions about this one? Okay. Let's go on. safe. How about bold? What are they? What are they? Let's well, let's just, first of all, let's get the concept. Okay. Do you like a bold concept or a safe concept? Safe. 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 Beautiful. We got it. Everybody in this room is right. Mm -hmm. yeah. What's the best safe play you can make? 13-8. Huh? 13-8? You're not going to hit? No. It's only one safe play. It's the only safe play there is. You're all geniuses. We're done. Have a nice tournament. You got it. We're through. Let's go to the next one. They got it. They nailed it. Oh.
Uh, we left. We took out the variation. Okay. There is a blot on Black's uh, nine point. In case you can't see that checker, there's a blot on Black's nine point. It's getting more complicated, you know. So for two to play, you can either make four points. I call it bold, or you can make a uh, twenty point, make the anchor, or you can hit him like four two. I think it's also both play. So one one safe play and two bold plays. Twenty two to sixteen, oh. yes. Okay, again, who votes for bold? Who votes for safe? Okay, safe is right based on all the criteria that Mochi pointed out. Now, which safe play is the best play? Which of the safe plays that you mentioned, there's making your opponent's five point, you can make your nine point. Oh, nine point. Yeah, which is the first thing I saw. Is making your nine point, it blocks and it's fairly safe. You can make the two point, I mean, I'm sorry, you can make his three point with the two, but then I, you don't have a four, so that's not safe. So what's the best safe play? Falafel, I'm putting you on the spot. What's Toby the best? Toby had a question. Yeah, Toby? Uh, if you make the nine point, it's not so safe because he's going to attack you. That's right, that's right. That's he's right. going to attack you. So what play would you make, Toby? Well, I thought about hitting. This is a different story. <laughs> but, uh, okay, so Tobias, Tobias and Falafel, you're sitting next to Falafel, and now you're telling me what you think is the right play. I'm a little suspicious, except that when we played, when you and I played on Extreme Gammon the uh, day before yesterday, you played at less than one. Of course, it was a one-point match. It was a one-point match. Okay. The right play is the safe play, and clearly you make your opponent's five-point here, and lots of people would make their own four-point here. Let's be honest. Okay, next and, one. Uh, okay, sorry, question. Sorry, that raised a question. Um, would you say that, uh, where would you say um, the criteria, who's made their five point and who hasn't made their five point, would that go under stronger board or would that just be another one? Because that's kind of what's going on here. Plus I, there was one time John Clark I, uh, was on World Series of Backgammon, he was commentating and, and the guy doubled and he t took and he's like, yep, the gap on the five point makes it a take. And that's, that always struck me as like, that's a great criteria, you know what I mean, to think about because What's going on here is that he's about he's going to get primed if he doesn't make it because that's what one of the things the five point does is that if your opponent makes his five point he gets to play more aggressively because the more checkers he sends back he's going to prime him or he's more likely to prime him but and then if if my if I make my five point then I'm more likely to prime him so I can play more aggressively and then if I don't have it I want to play more. Sorry, I, I lost your question. What is your question, <laughs> Professor? I'm just saying, how how would you rank? Who's made their five point and who has let me Let me answer you that question very quickly so we can go on. Okay. Making the five point is critical. If you ask me which five point, I'm going to tell you I don't care. They're both critical, and which one you make depends on whether you should be playing bold or safe. And that's yeah. the point. If you make his five point, you've got a strong position, and he can't make his five point. If you make your five point, he can't. So they're both very, very important, and it depends on the position. Yes. The second best play is bold uh, to hit on 16. Well, it's called, you call it the second best play. I call it the least worst play because it's still a blunder. <laughs> so even though it's in second place, it's not in the running. It's a bad play. It's the kind of play that I might make. Okay. Um, Brad is on the bar, and Brad has not here and there. There's only two plays, right? Right. Right. Uh, making five and making nine, or make twenty. Making a five, either case, is forced, basically. 13, 5, and 24, 20. Which 13, 5, and 24, 20. All right, let's simplify this. This is another story about another concept about what's your game plan. 
if we're co comparing whether you should play bold or safe, how many people think you should play bold here? Okay, how many people think you should play safe here? I didn't get very many hands. Okay, <laughs> doesn't all the criteria say to play bold? Doesn't this scream play bold? You have more interboard points. You've got his checker on the roof. 